We're here at uh, the Good Neighbours Coffee Morning. Do you, what's the main role that you've got as a volunteer here? Well, there's about um, a dozen uh, men who are, for a variety of reasons, reluctant to come into the centre and sort of access all the, all the kind of things that are going on here. So I go and visit them. Uh, I spend about an hour with each one. Uh, I'll visit them in the homes. Some, some of them I'll meet in a local co- local coffee shops. Uh, and my job really is to keep them company, uh, help them with any 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 tasks that that need doing. Trying to encourage them to get out to access uh, things that are going on in the community. It's about, there's about a dozen at the moment. And how often do you visit them? Uh, so some 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 people I visit uh, twice a week, but the majority it's it's once a week for about an hour an hour pop. I love it. Uh, I've been retired for about four or five years and as usual when you retire there's all these things that you want to do which I'd done and then I was just sitting around uh, and I really miss the contact with uh, different sorts of people and this is a, a wonderful job for meeting people who I guess I wouldn't normally have a chance to to meet and find out about. Uh, I'm a man who likes stories and it's it's just it's just so good to be able to share stories of all these people that uh, I'm getting to see. Some people are quite capable of making their own cups of tea and will offer me uh, are, are quite happy to make me a cup of tea. But for some, yes, uh, I'll make a, I'll make a brew. It's, it's, it's just part of what I'll do when I go in and see a particular person. Uh, for some, there's uh, some practical tasks that, that might need doing. So I might help to take take rubbish out to the bins. I might nip to the local shops uh, to sort of top up for them. Uh, but most of it is 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 talking. It's just it's just chatting. The one the one common thing about all these people is that they're that is that they're all very different. Uh, so it depends on the person. It depends on on the mood that they're in. Some people perhaps uh, there's somebody I see who perhaps hasn't seen anybody else in the whole week, and so when I come in, they just want to talk, and there's just like an hour of talk comes out of them. Uh, there's other people who are perhaps find it more difficult to, to communicate and we, we kind of trade, we, we kind of we work on a uh, conversation. Because I've now been seeing them for what I see is so long, uh, there's now a kind of, there's a, a, a sort of common thread running through my visits. So I'm able to, uh, there's often things that we've talked about or tried to, to plan. Uh, so there, there, there's the kind of that that kind of leads us, leads us through usually. If um, somebody else was thinking of getting into this, how how would you suggest they do it? I would suggest that they contact your good neighbours because um, it's what a wonderful hub it is. There's so many things that are that are going on. Uh, visiting one to one might not suit suit everybody, but there's plenty of opportunities for them, child and good neighbours, to to work with groups of people uh, and doing very different things. It's never dull. No, let's uh, let's put it like that. There's there, there's always there's always something. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I'm really lucky. I think I've I've landed the the best voluntary role I could have I could have hoped for.